You see this rack? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I'm not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rugs just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir! I cannot take less than 200 action for this. My final offer. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 Akche. And we part as friends. Of all Mehmet's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong! Clear the way! No loitering! We 
are rediscovering the vibrant glory of the old. Come on out, look out! and ruthless, the might of the empire. Hey! <laughs> You there. I will be back tomorrow. And if you have not disposed of all this foreign-made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the Bosphorus. Lead the way! O sublime conquerors. Salamun alaikum, good champions. Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. We may verify the amount, Tarek. But the money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the save its quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala, I will have a map drawn up for you within the week. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. And short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice! 
No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here! You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, perhaps that will help our cause. Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. Put the agenda. No? It is. Men and women of the city! Hear me now! You have promised no loss! And thus the suit citizens of Istanbul! The Janissary is for you to get the Janissaries are corrupt and people of Constantinia. They have surrendered their loyalties to the devil. And to the devil. That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it, and keep them safe from harm.
Daddy, he certainly has the swagger. Aha! Now we have you! He can't outrun us! <laughs> Don't dream of betraying a man of your influence, but you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. Salute! I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa and the other in the Bayezid district. Bayezid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings. Still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands.
Where is it, Lavro? Confess! I have done nothing. You cannot prove that damn I do not need to. I, I do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a, a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. I have a painting for sale, if you are curious. A luminous portrait. You see how lifelike she looks. Her beauty shines. It is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. <laughs> Buffone. This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio, what is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sofia, when I can.
What did you find? Another key? Door of some kind, bricked up with hard stone. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Dimules. And how did they open that door? They didn't. The earthquake did. Iperokai. All we have are a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not? We get more. Yeah. The assassin! Go! Go! You will not leave here alive! No, no. He is here somewhere.
The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my God. Maria, when we left Masyaf ten years ago, this order was strong. But all that progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention, and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair, reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Ah! El Tayer! El Tayer! No! Strength, El Tayer. Maria. He is possessed! Kill him! Take the apple! Now! Stop that man! Oh. <laughs> ah!
Father, I got your message. What has happened? That him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you! This way. Where is Mother? She is gone, Dari. I'm sorry. Ahead of us! What? How? Later. First, we fight. Brothers, we need not fight! Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. We must leave at once! Catch us! Was it Abbas who killed my brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an arm. He will die. One day he will pay. killed my brother. I will have the apple, Altair, and I will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family. You cannot run forever, not from us, and not from your lies. Maria. Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos, nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templars' army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key.
That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting, but not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Bayezid's throne. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is canon. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the Vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Ezio! Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleologos. Paleologos? That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleologos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his Janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel. Get the information you need. Then kill him. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. In Daisy. Selim understands our plight. The Byzantines, the Mamluks, the Safavid. Only he has the courage to face these threats. Mark, listen. Selim is a warrior like Osman and Mehmet. So why has our Sultan chosen a cat over our life? the murderer who took the life of a beloved Janissary. Ahmed shares the Sultan's calm temperament. Must be found they and are too to much justice. alike, I fear. If you see something, say something. Citizens, beware. A killer stalks our streets without conscience, targeting the servants of our Sultan. The Janissaries have dedicated their lives to the protection of the Empire. Return the favor you are not and find this killer here. before he strikes again. Go on, get out of here. Shame on your chapla. Assalamu alaikum, good champions. Yes, the club. to the gods, Janissaries. Splendid and ruthless. The might of the Empire. Hey!
Get out of here, you annoying bird! Why does Ahmed linger in the city? He knows he's not wanted. He is like a moth, hovering around an open flame, waiting for his father to perish, so that he may step to the throne. Did you hear he offered Tarek a sum of money in exchange for our loyalty? God damn you! Kardesh Larim! One of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumped like a mound of rubbish. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Have you met Selim's young son, Shehzade Suleiman? Not personally, but I have seen him. I know he is a remarkable boy. Not a boy, but a capable young man with a magnificent mind. Does he take after his father? Tarek, a message for you. Ariculade. <laughs> the rifles have arrived in Cappadoce, where Manuel has garrisoned his army. And our men, are they still with him? Evet. They will contact us when the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Effendim. Evet. For once. Any idea what you are up against? I will kill any who can oh. away. Pathetic. Just give up, corpse. Pathetic. Just give up, corpse. to do. Stay sharp. expect would come of such treachery. I blame myself, not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush, preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here, 
this will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadocia. Destroy them if you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah Ashkila. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. I am getting tired of this uniform. Don't let him escape! You will get him! Through me? Really? I am not involved! What's the captain? Let me know! Run! A servant of our Sultan has fallen at the hands of a criminal and been stripped of his government. Be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. Tarek was no traitor, Suleiman. He too was tracking the Byzantines. What? So did you... I am sorry. God forgive me. You should not have been so quick to judge. He was loyal to your grandfather to the end. And through his efforts, we have the means to save your city. Tarek... 
should not have been so secretive. What a terrible way to do a good thing. The weapons were taken to Cappadoce. Can you get me there? Yes, of course. I will arrange a ship to take you. Suleiman! Suleiman! I have been set up and made to look a traitor. Do you remember Tarek, the Janissary? The man you quarreled with? He has been murdered. It is no secret that he and I were at odds. Now the Janissaries will accuse me of this crime. This is terrible news, uncle. When word gets back to my father, he will banish me from the city. Ah, forgive me, nephew. I was not aware that you had a guest. This is Marcello, one of my European advisors in Cafe. Buonasera. Marcello, my nephew and I have a private matter to discuss. As I said, there will be a ship waiting for you when you wish to leave. Grazie, o mio principe. We will track down the perpetrator of this crime, uncle. Have patience. Enjoying the poem? Who are these men he condemned to hell? Political opponents. Men who wronged him. Alighieri's quill cuts deeply, no? See, si. It is a subtle way to seek revenge. Ezio. I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoli in a few weeks to visit a new printing press there. That should be fun. It is a five or six day ride from here. And I will need an escort. Prego. Oh, I'm sorry. You are a busy man. Sophia, I would love to accompany you, but my time is running short. That is true for all of us. Well, I can try to solve this last code now, but I need to run an errand before sundown. Can you wait a day? What do you need? It is silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. Nessun problema. Are you sure? It will be a nice change of pace. Bene. Meet me in the park east of Aya Sofia, and we will trade. Flowers for information. You look like a man with money to spend. What do you need, Dostum? Tulips. White, if you have them. Ah, tulips. Uh, forgive me, but I am fresh out. Uh, something else, perhaps? It is not my call, unfortunately. All right. Listen, I may know where to get fresh tulips. You wait here, and I will return. One hour. Two at most. I am not waiting an hour.
to the end. I mean, I'm amazed. You haven't killed anyone yet, and we are three hours into the shift. My beloved is What is this? A gift. Sit. Che belli, grazie. I wanted to thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. <laughs> you are a mystery, Ezio Auditore. Mi dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. Sembra squisito. Why, thank you. Any luck with the final code? Ah, the code, si. Sì. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough. I'm 
sorry. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go. Oh, my good sir. I don't suppose you're <laughs>
They say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. Abbas, what a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. If our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Shh. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. <clears throat> Many thanks. What brings you here, old man? Pity, Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life, shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor. And unlike Al-Mu'alim or Al-Tair, he never betrayed us. Nonsense. Al-Tair was no traitor. He was driven out, unjustly. Is it, is it you? I heard the rumors, but I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayeen to keep us from the castle. Fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. So, where do I begin? With us. You say these men are cruel. Has anyone raised his blade against an innocent? Alas, yes. Brutality seems to be their sole joy. Then they will die. 
people they have compromised the order. But those who still live by the creed must be spared. You can trust in us. What are you... Altair is here. In the village? Mm -hmm. Send word to the castle, quickly. Assassins! To me! Mentor, welcome. Shh. We do not want to get him killed. Follow me to the castle, and spill no blood if you can help it. Decades have passed since we last saw you within these walls. We could use your wisdom. Now more than ever. Our mentor has returned! My respect, mentor. For Abbas! I fight for you. For the order. Back, Altair, your presence honors me. Slayer, you die! 
Always and always. Die! Together for victory, mentor. Welcome back, mentor. mentor. Tell your men to stand down! No! I am defending Masha! Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. I learned many things from the apple. Of life and death, of the past and the future. Let me show you. I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family. My father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then... I will see him... and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time... we will find you. And then... there will be... no doubts. to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life, from beginning to end. He had no other. Sayun Auditore! Word around the city is you're leaving us. It's nothing I do a secret. <laughs> Not to worry, brother. The captain of your ship is a friend. But neither of you are going anywhere just yet. The Janissaries have raised the chain across the mouth of the Halic and ordered a full blockade until you are caught. They raised the chain for me. <laughs> we will celebrate later. Uh, here. I have something for you. Careful. This has 50 times the kick of our usual bombs. Bene. I know what to do. The suspense is palpable. Yusuf, wait. Un favore. Yes? There is a woman running a bookshop at the old Polo trading post. Sofia. Look out for her. She is a remarkable lady. You have my word. Gather your men. This will attract some attention. Something about that cloak. I know that. So familiar. Now, finish it!
are waiting to stop your boat. You take care of them. We will clear the docks. Ah, great fire! I like the way you think, Ezio. Yanlış yaptın ahmak. Baştan başla. Subtle approach. See, si. sorry for the delay. Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin. But it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know. If you regret anything. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... 
I'm not sure. Thank you. For what? For making sense. Sean, you feeling okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're assassins, after all, aren't we? Eh? Why should we be surprised if one of us dies every now and again? Every death is a tragedy to somebody somewhere. What I want to know is, is Desmond worth all this trouble? You know, what, what is he? Is he the, the chosen one? Is that it? Little Jimmy special? Some bollocks like that? I'm afraid not. But what he has is rare. His genes contain high concentrations of first civilization DNA. Only about one in ten million are so lucky. Oh, the bleeding effect. Is that part of it? I believe so. I wish I could say we knew about his gift earlier. But it was the Templars who realized this. And they found him first. I left Constantinople and set sail for the interior of Anatolia, to a region called Cappadocia, where Manuel is training his soldiers. If I am lucky, I will not be alone, for there may be Ottoman spies in the area waiting to strike. But, as ever, I put stock only in myself, and hold the memory of dear Sophia close to my heart. Claudia, you would laugh to hear the racing thoughts of your brother now. I have come to admire Sophia with more affection than I thought possible. After the death of Christina, something withered in me. But that feeling, that capacity for love, has returned. I adore Sophia, but dare not drag her into this life of mine. Not without fear of hurting her, or driving her away. of an army here, and no signs of Tarek's men.
Not so close, Adi Herif. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. Where are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was just to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain, come find me. Happen to see that we caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about. A woman this time, disguised as a harlot of low birth. Not sending his harem girls now, eh? It seems the Sultan is running out of skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Inside, into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. But do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. <laughs> Shakuru, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Mm. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Shakuru, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave in the market. Christemu! I'd like to run that man through with a spear! Hey, hey! Get up to yourself, taxi!
Not everyone was taken prisoner. Poor men. That Turkmen renegade did this. Shaku. I'll kill him! Wait! not cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I will have to get in close. Jonas, we have to help him. Can you walk? Evet. The rifles you brought, they should be destroyed. Most of them don't actually work. But the gunpowder is real. We could not fake that. Bene. Keep out of sight until you hear the explosions. Then, you run. Explosions? If you do that, all hell will break loose. You will panic the entire city. See, si. I am counting on it. And then what? Then I find Manuel Palea Logos.
behind us. You are going to see this. Oh, my God. Oh. Sabotage, my lord. You need to take cover. Get out of my way. Citizens, soldiers, compose yourselves. Do not give in to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinople. We are the lords of this land. We are Byzantines. Horaio, stand fast. Do not let anyone break it. Stop that man! Cut it down! Take advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fair hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. Come! I've just a reward you deserve. <laughs> I should have been Constantine's successor. 
He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Huh? But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What a man be something. These are only labels. Costumes and facades. Beneath these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Poor Manuel, last of the Paleologi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man, impossible to keep in line. Disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body with one master mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sofia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing. Leave her be. We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her. I know you'll try.
Nicola Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Uh, thank you, Victor. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. This way. Let's move. Father, are you hurt? Uh, give me a moment. Mm. Uh, the end of an era. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message? For whom? I wish I knew. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind the Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm.
Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche. It's your auditore. You have earned your rest, brother. Requiescat in pace. Brothers, sisters, the whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, 
Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library, and I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough? I had Ahmed tell as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem, stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Mentor? Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women, and to maintain the dignity of our order, as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, and wait for my command. Where is she? I admire you, Ezio. But your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off.
she's all yours. Teşekkürler efendim. Çok teşekkürler. Used. I did not mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. <laughs> you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run!
careful! No, I know! Steal yourself, Sophia! More soldiers! Now it's you. How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Oh! Soldiers! Selim is not your master! You serve the Sultan! 
You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. Selim! <coughs> Stop! Please! So, you are the assassin, Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> You did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? waiting to talk to everyone. I hope you have something for us. Absolutely. Passports and papers for everyone. Ah, brilliant. So I'm... I'm what? A neurosurgeon now, am I? You're a medical team from SUNY Upstate. Just back from Rome with your patient. Experimental gene therapy. Good work. Let's get this over with. Wait, look! This is crazy! What's wrong? I'm not sure, but Desmond's brain is lighting up like a string of firecrackers. Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion! What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live! The tales we tell ourselves! Don't do this! I'm saving you, idiot! Go! Go! Write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Acre now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession, and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library, to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister, for it is late, and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. Such a climb. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago, but here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up and set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. 
And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? <laughs> you mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions and that we must live with their consequences, Over here. whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, this way. it chose me. For three decades, I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself let them go let go of all of this then let go you will not fall far the end of the road What do you hope to find behind that door? Knowledge, above all else. Altair was a profound man and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life and learned many secrets, both troubling and strange. Knowledge that would drive lesser men to despair. Does that worry you? Sophia, you should know by now that I am not a lesser man. Ezio. You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. to my books. Yes. Some we sent with the Polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. 
What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. What does it tell you? What do you see? Strange visions and messages of ones who came before, of their rise and their fall. But what happens to us, Altair? To our family? What does the apple say? Duty, Maria. If you are asked, say I sent the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus or Sipango or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right. Another artifact? No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind. Like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could. Not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we, who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. 
now. Listen. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? Ah, there you are. Good. A strange place, this nexus of time. I am not used to the calculations. That has always been Minerva's domain. I see you still have many questions. Who were we? What became of us? What do we desire of you? You will have your answers. Only listen, and I will tell you how. Both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. shook for days, the fires burned for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words. Pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Wait, 
Look, his vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's... he's moving. Desmond, can you hear me? Son? I know what we need to do.